In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a necktie using the Monster Tail Loom. Since Father's Day is right around the corner, I thought this would be a perfect charm to make for Dad. If you don't have the Monster Tail but have the full size loom, you can make this tie charm using six pins set in a rectangular shape. So you will need 38 rubber bands, and depending on which design you choose for your necktie will depend on how many of each color you need. For example, here's one with black and red where I just used two rows of red, so there are eight red bands, and then I have one additional red band for the top, and then the rest are black. And then here's another one that has green and blue jelly bands from Rainbow Loom. And I use two wide stripes of blue, so there are 16 blue bands, and then one more for the top, and then the rest are green. The one I'll be making today will have 13 silver bands, and these are the Rainbow Loom metallic bands, and then I have 25 of the navy blue jelly bands. So I will start with the navy. And the first band is going to be placed from the middle pin on the left straight across to the middle pin on the right. And it's going to be a doubled band. So in order to do this, I'm going to place it on my hook, twist, and then put it back on. So you'll see two rubber bands on your hook. And it's going to stretch straight across. And I also want it to twist to make a figure eight. And then push that down. And now for my next row, it's going to be doubled as well. So this next band is going from the bottom left. It's going to do a long diagonal stretch up to the top right. So once again, I'm going to double this band. And it is definitely going to be tight since it's doubled. And I also want this to twist and push that down. And now I'm going to double this next band and it's going from the top left. It's going to do a long diagonal stretch down to the bottom right. And then it also is going to twist. And then finally this last band is going to be doubled. It's going to go straight across on the center pins, but I'm not going to twist this time. And so now I want the bottom layer to come off, which is going to be just the bands on the center pins. It's going to be these two bottom bands, and they are going to be tight since it's doubled. I'm going to pull them out both at once, get them on my hook, and pull them over the top and into the middle. And on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing, grabbing the bottom two, pulling it out and over the top and push this down. And now I'm going to add another layer. It's going to be that same pattern as the layer I just put on, only this time the bands are not doubled. So it's going from the bottom left all the way up to the top right. And now I'm taking a second one and it's going from the top left down to the bottom right. It's that long stretch. And now finally this last band is going straight across the middle. And now once again I want to remove the bottom layer. So again this bottom layer is doubled so it's going to be two bands at once. And they are going to definitely be tight. So you want to pull them out and over the top and into the middle. Just make sure as you're doing that that the upper bands are not getting pulled off since it is so tight. And so I'll just work my way around to all six pins, removing those bottom two bands. And here's the last one. And now I'm going to push this all down. And now I'm going to change colors. So I'll be working with silver. And I'm also going to change the pattern. So I'm still starting on the bottom left, but this time I'm going to the middle pin on the right. And now from here, I'm going diagonally up and back over to the left. 
So I've just zigzagged my way up to the top and now I'm going to switch to the other side and I'm going to zigzag my way back down. So I'm crossing this to make an X and now from this center pin I'm coming back down again to the right. So I have two X's and now I want the bottom layer to come off so I have one single band from all six pins to come off. Just pulling it over the top and into the middle. And now on the other side, repeat that. And I want to push this down. And so now I'm going to keep repeating that same pattern, but I'm going to switch colors. So now I am going to do blue. And now I'm going to work my way back down, making those X's. And now I want to remove the bottom layer once again. This time I'm going to have one single band on the end pins and two in the center. So I have the one on the end and then in the middle here I'm taking them both at once and then one on the end flip to the other side and repeat that so it's one and two in the center and then one on the end push this down and now I'm going to switch back to silver again I'm following that same pattern always starting on the bottom left and I'm going to zigzag my way up and now I'm going to work my way back down and now once again I want that bottom layer to come off so this time it's all the navy blue it's going to be one on the ends and two in the middle going to be that way for the next couple of layers and since we're switching colors every layer it's a little bit easier because you can see that you want that bottom color to come off pushing that down and now I'm going to switch back to blue so again it's the same pattern and now back down And now I'm removing that bottom layer once again. So I want all of these silver bands to come off. And push down. And now I have my next layer of silver starting on the bottom left. And now coming back, I have this one silver left. I'm going to put that aside because that's going to be for the top. And now I want all of the blues to come off the bottom. And push down. And now I have one more layer of blue that I'm following the same pattern. And now once again I'm removing that bottom layer. So this time all the silver needs to come off. and push down and so now for my next layer I'm going to start on the bottom left but this time I'm doing that same pattern that has the long stretch so I'm starting on the bottom left stretching all the way up to the top right and now I'm going to go to the top left 
and that's going to stretch all the way down to the bottom right and then one single band that's going across the center and now I want to remove that bottom layer so I have the same pattern as before for this layer I have one on the ends and two on the middle pins and the same thing again one and then in the middle there's two at once and one on the end push that down and now my next layer is going to be that same pattern with a long stretch but this time I want to double the bands again because I want it to get tighter at the top so I'm doubling this band it's going from the bottom left all the way up to the top right and there's no need to twist or anything and now I'm going to double this next band and it's going from the top left down to the bottom right and finally I'm doubling this next band and it's going straight across on the center pins and now I want this bottom layer to come off so it's going to be just one band from all six pins only one in the middle and again on the other side and push this down and so now what I need to do is get all of the bands into the center. So I will start on the bottom right here. You're going to have two bands on all of the pins and they are going to be tight since they're double. So you just want to be careful. I'm getting them both on my hook, taking them off, make sure you don't lose them, and move them into the middle row. Still working on the right hand side and now I'll take the ones that are above it here and I'm grabbing these two bands and they're moving into the middle here and they're moving down and now I'm going to push the bands down that are on this middle pin because we're going to be adding more and it's going to get pretty full so now I want to take the bands that are on this lower pin on the left there's going to be two and I want them to move diagonally up and to the right so they're going to go on that center pin and now I'm going to take the two bands that are on the middle pin on the left I'm going to get them on my hook and move them straight across to the right and again this is getting very full I want to push this down and now finally I want to take the two bands that are on the top pin on the left and move those over as well make sure that they both get on there and so now all of the bands are now on this one pin on the right hand side and I want to take all of the bottom bands over the top I'm only going to leave the top two rubber bands on so I'm just going to grab them two at a time at least I'm going to try to do it two at a time they're so full that it's kind of hard to tell but it doesn't really matter how many you're pulling over at once as long as you just leave those two bands that are on the very top they have to stay on the pin and you might need to separate them out to see if you have them all so it looks like I have three on so I have one more I have to take over the top and so now I have just two bands left and what I'm going to do is take my hook and go down through I'm going to grab this last rubber band which I have silver you can really choose whatever color you want for this loop at the top I'm going to pull it up through and put the loose end back on my hook I'm going to take the band that's closest to the end of the hook and pull it through the other one and now I can take this off and then here I have my tie and so here are some of the other ones that I had shown you previously 
So there's tons of different color choices and patterns that you can choose. I hope that everyone had fun making their neckties for Father's Day or for any occasion. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!